fans privateer fx thursday 06 feb pretty light calendar today non farms is tomorrow equities jump 30 handles overnight um, so we're on we're in risk on territory but boy we're stretched right um, we'll get to the equity chart in a second first let's take a look at this dollar yen uh, this trend line will be drawn by pretty much anyone who, who ever looks at a chart. It's a five-year trend line in dollar yen. Comes in around 110.12 today. Uh, so just it's pretty simple here. If you're if you're a break trader and a momentum trader, you're going to pay 13s and probably 31s. Um, if you're a mean reversion guy, uh, you'll probably sell right on this trend line. So you're going to be selling 12s. Uh, maybe with a stop above 30. It's an important moment. Um, these are moments that money needs to be made. It doesn't matter what your strategy is. Um, you know, money needs to be made at the edges of the ranges uh, where markets either turn or extend. Mid range is much harder to make money. Here we are, we're, we're at one of these edges. So, uh, Give it some thought. See which way you want to go on this. We're still thinking about it. The problem we have is the extension now. It's now 200 points higher since Friday, four days. Um, and we were, in high, we're entirely not comfortable um, with the equities. Here's equities here. Uh, last night. Probably Tokyo Open. No, sort of mid Asian session. Uh, just jammed higher after a 32 close last night. We're gonna we're gonna send we're gonna sell this tactically on extremes. So our sell region is probably 62 to 68. Um, very uncomfortable with this, but. All of the risk on metrics are higher. Crude, 5209. Uh, boons collapsing. Bonds collapsing. So, it'd be foolish to think you could pick the top. Tactically short on the day to make a, make a few pennies is probably the call uh, on the bigger picture. On the trending picture, this dollar yen has to be kept in mind. As I said yesterday, everyone's asking me about Euro. Yes, there will be stops below 80. Yes, those stops will probably get done before non-farms. Uh, not sure how far this is going to go. Just vol and Euro is just so shitty. Um, just don't know. Like, I don't know why anyone's trading Euro dollar at the moment. Cable, on the other hand, uh, we do like this lower. Yesterday, uh, there were some idle threats thrown around about changing uh, MIFID 2. These are banking regulations um, to screw with London. I've said this before, I'll say it again. Uh, the UK has no holds no cards here in this negotiation, and they're really dependent on the kindness of Europe. Uh, and you know, if Europe decides to get haughty, if they decide to bring ego into the equation uh, and turn the screws a bit, I, I honestly don't know what the UK can do. Um, their economy will just collapse if it goes WTO and if they don't sign something at least similar to what was before. It may be stronger 10 years from now, uh, but in order to get stronger, it will have to uh, take some pain. Anyway, I think the market is coming around to realize this. Um, we have quite a few stale longs who are value, sort of currency value investor types. I foresee a washout here, so keep an eye on this. 41 was the low on Monday. <clears throat> 05 was the low uh, just before Christmas. Let's let's see how this goes. Sterling Yen um, doji yesterday, but this level here, uh, 140 sort of 80, 85, 88. 
that's what we call a five star level um, there will be some action there will be some action there what else is out there Kiwi you know we thought Kiwi was going to launch yesterday with all this risk on and, and but Aussie Kiwi has just gone through the roof obviously someone has a huge short Aussie Kiwi position and they're unwinding so Kiwi is going to have to wait you can see Aussie Kiwi bang 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 up 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 um, and the thing about Aussie Kiwi is a trendy, it's a trendy mistress. Um, this thing could easily go, you know, back up to 106. And until the Aussie Kiwi flows are done, Kiwis, the bird, just can't fly. But 65004 is the 200 day and a pivot. And if we continue risk on. And if uh, China is free from trouble, um, Kiwi can ride. These are big ifs, uh, and so price will tell you. But 6504 is an interesting point in Kiwi. Dollar CAD, kind of interesting down there, 132.63. I don't know why Dollar CAD's not lower on this risk on. Don't know gold also not really responding at all uh, looking for sideways action in gold Bitcoin's going to get through 10,000 um, just want to be long Bitcoin um, this is your safe haven trade believe it or not many skeptics out there uh, but uh, trying to buy Bitcoin on the dip is uh, is a strategy we recommend I wouldn't say you can really trade this technically it's very artistic uh, artistic and probably a bit autistic uh, chart but uh, buying Bitcoin we like being long Bitcoin obviously the closer to 8,000 uh, <laughs> better easily said at 9600 Aussie not doing too much uh, this 6776 is slightly interesting but uh, looks kind of dead the main focus today is uh, dollar yen what's going to happen at 11010 equities can we retain this crazy bullishness um, no real data today. We got Lagarde at nine. Um, we've got uh, Challenger job cuts out of the U.S., which nobody cares about. Non-farm, non-farm. Um, I mean, jobless claims, uh, unit labor costs, which is I find quite interesting because it's inflationary and it's wage data. Uh, so that's quite interesting at two thirty. Uh, we've got Kaplan speaking from the Fed. Not expecting much from these guys. We also have Governor Lowe speaking uh, about the Oz tonight, very late, 11.30 Swiss time. I've said enough. Uh, the main focus is this dollar yen chart uh, and the cable chart for us. It's definitely risk on right now. Um, let's just see if dollar yen can uh, follow through or this is going to be the turn. Good luck out there, people. I will catch you tomorrow.